everyone i'm here with my mother uh, she is the one who uh, brought me in the chess world she made me start playing chess uh, who persuaded my dad to uh, uh, you know make us play a chess tournament so i'm here with her today mom knows to play chess in fact uh, the story goes that when she is going to get married right when you are going to get married you learn chess or after you uh, got married oh. after you got okay. married so after she got married to my dad who used to love playing chess uh, she went to her was it school teacher music teacher music teacher she went to her music teacher and said teach me chess because uh, Uh, papa was a good player i mean he was not like a player playing a tournament but he loved playing chess he was playing some tournaments at that time right and yeah so mom just learned chess at that time she is out of touch of chess uh, uh in my family me didi and papa are all into chess and mama doesn't uh, get time from taking care of us so so okay, let's see how much mom remembers chess and through her I want uh, all of you to learn the basics of chess. So let's get started. Uh, so here, what we have in front of us is a chessboard, right, Mom? Yes. Okay. So what's the color of this square? Black. Black. And what's the color of this square? White. White. So we see that on our right is white. White. On our right is white, and on on our left black. is black. Okay. Very good. So first thing, Mom just told me before I started this recording. is she said uh, i never taught her we never taught her the squares like how do we write in chess so the first thing we learn today is how to write in chess right mm -hmm. because that will uh, help uh, me to talk about the squares and which is what piece so let's do something very basic uh, let's understand the squares so the first thing which we see in front of us is uh, that a chess board is a square board and it has an 8 by 8 grid 64 64 squares total and by the way mom is turning 64 on 29th of april so i thought that mom through mom we will learn chess because it's her 64th birthday i thought it was an interesting idea to make this video uh, doing it for the first time mm, with mom so let's uh, okay let's learn chess with mom so uh, so this square uh, for this square uh if you look at it it's written a here yeah. and one here right yes now the first question is what it is so in a chess board which has uh eight files so if you look at it uh there are there is this let me just try to color it yeah so you see this this arrow there's this one file the first file on the left this is called the a file so every square here has something to do with a mm -hmm. and the notation goes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 from down to up yes so that way uh, this square becomes a1 so what will this square be a2 this square a3 this square a4 this square a5 this square a6 this square a7 this square a8 perfect so the next file here uh is the b2 b file so b5 b file so this whole file yeah. is the yeah. b file achha, right achha file so how we have the a file or the first file the second file is the b, b file mm. right so similarly the third file is the c file okay mom is mm. getting distracted with something i don't want to get distracted with anything so i told mm. her we will continue with the lesson So the third file is a C mm. file. Mm. The third, the fourth file D file. D file. E file. E file. E file. F file. G file. G file. H file. H file. So you see that from left to right, it's A B C D E F G H. Yes. And if you go up, it's like if you go say if I put this arrow like this, it's rank. So first rank. second rank third rank and so on so let me just remove the arrows once so let's try to understand i told this is the a file and this is one so if you make it together it becomes a1 right so similarly if i come to this what will this be b1 b1 
What will this be? C1. C1. What will this be? D1. D1. What will this be? E1. What will this be? F1. Very good. G1. G1. H1. So these are how we denote the squares. So let's try to uh, trick mom. Let's see whether she understands. So which is the square mom? 4, 5. 4, 5? Mm -hmm. E, E five E E four five E four five कैसे होगा आह चल मी आह E five E five है हाँ E five है that's correct ये E five है and what's the four rank four yes so the square will be E four perfect आह take this one what will this be D D D six D six perfect what will this be G seven G seven very good what will this be? A6. Very good. What will this be? H5. H5. Very good. B4. Very good. What is this square? C8. C8. What is this square? D2. Okay. What is this square? A2. What is this square? G2. What is this square? F6. F6. Very good. What is this square? A8. What is this square? F8. Very good. What is this square? B1. B1. Very good. What is this square? E5. E5. Is it E? Oh, sorry. C5. C5. Very good. Hmm. What is this? E7. E7. Very good. What is this? F3. Okay. Perfect. So now you know the squares, mom. So basically you have to first start with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and then choose the number. Uh, yes, the number. So you know this is how we denote the squares, right? So let me remove this all. Uh, now let me ask you about each and every piece. Now what is this piece called? King. King, right? Uh, where is it put at the start of the game? E. E what? Which square? I mean, where do we put it when the game starts? Which square? E what? E five. No, I mean, जब game शुरू होता है, तो king कहाँ रहता है? जब अपन start करते हैं, तो king कहाँ रहेगा? Starting position king का किधर है? मैं इसको यहाँ से हटा देती हूँ. Let me remove this. Yes. अभी king कहाँ रहता है? Start position में. E में. E में कहाँ? E five. E what is this? Is it E five? E file. E file, but which square? E. e? One, two, three, four, five. E five. Mm -hmm. E five will be this square. Mm -hmm. Do we keep the king here? Mm -hmm. Nahi, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. King e one. E one. Perfect. So we keep the king on E one. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. It takes some practice to get used to the squares. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which piece is this, mom? King. This is no. Which is this piece? Queen. Queen. This is queen. Uh, where do we put the queen at the start of the game? D1. D1. Very good. See, now she knows. Uh, which is this piece? Rook. Where do we put it at the start? A1. Of? A1. Perfect. Uh, another? H1. H1. Very good. Uh, which is this piece? Bishop. Where do we put it at the start? F1. F1 and? B1. B1? Bishop. C1. C1. Perfect. Very good. Uh, what is this piece? Knight. Uh, where do we put it at the start of the game? G1. G1. Very good. And? B1. B1. Excellent. Uh, pawn. Okay. Pawn. Where do we put it? All square. It. All. It. One, one, two, three, eight. Okay. So, can you name the squares? Which is this square? A2. This one? B2. This one? C2. This one? D2. This one? E2. This one? F2. This one? G2. This one? H2. Right. Perfect. So this is the starting position for white pieces. Right, mom? Yes. Can you tell me about the black pieces similarly? Where do I... What, which piece is this? Can you repeat it for the audience? King. And where do we put it? Which square? F1. F1? Here? Same, same as here. 
एफ थ्री आएगा क्या कहाँ पे रहता है कौन सा स्क्वायर ये दिस स्क्वायर राइट वॉट डू वी नेम दिस को हाउ डू वी नेम दिस स्क्वायर बच्चों उल्टा देना पड़ेगा ई वन ई वन इज इट वन एट यस इट्स ई एंड यू सी एट सो इट्स ई एट राइट सो वे डू यू पुट दिस क्वीन विच स्क्वायर हियर राइट डी वन डी डी एट डी एट राइट वे डू यू पुट दिस विच पीस इज दिस रुक रुक वे डू यू पुट इट एट एंड एच एट एच एट ओके वेरी गुड uh which piece is this bishop uh let i'll put it for you tell me the name of the squares c8 and a8 very good uh i'll put these two here can you tell me the name of the knight. squares knight on knight on b8 and a G eight. Okay, very good. I think you know where to put the pawns. Can you tell me the squares? Uh, I'll put it for you first. A seven, B seven, C seven, D seven, E seven, F seven, G seven, H seven. Perfect. So this is how we place the pieces at the start of the game, right, Mom? Mm -hmm. Right. Perfect. Okay. So this is the basic about how we arrange the pieces. Note one thing: the white king is on a dark colored square, black square, right? Yes. yes. And the black king is on a white white square. colored square, right? Yes. So the kings are opposite. on the opposite squares of the color they belong, right? Yes. White king on the black square, black yeah. king on the right square, hmm. on the white square. And uh, remember one thing: both sides will have white. On the right, the square, okay. right? This yeah. is white for right side. Right, sorry, black. I'm also getting confused. Uh, on the right, white has white. On the right, black also has white colored square. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Now, what we'll do is I will clear the board, and we'll try to understand how every piece moves. We'll start with the very basic piece, rook. I'll not put it in. The, okay, I'll put it here. And um, how does a rook move? Let me put it in the center of the board. It is a little easier to explain. A rook Vert moves vertical, vertical and horizontal, and right? Horizontal, yes. So it's actually if I draw an arrow. Uh, sorry, I want this rook. Uh, if I draw an arrow from here. uh yeah so the rook moves in a you know tell me which sign is it vertical and horizontal yeah then you tell me which arithmetical sign is this plus plus the rook moves in a plus sign as in it can go straight ahead it can come down it can go left it can go right so to explain it further the rook from this square the word which is the square d5 d5 The rook from d5 can go to e5, can go to f5, can go to g5, can go to h5, right? Yes. Uh, on the left, it can go to c5. This one is b5. This one is e5. Very good. This is d6. This is d7. This is d8. Very good. This is d4. This is d3, d2, d1. Right. So if you look at it, the rook can go straight ahead, straight left, straight right, and straight down. Yes. This is how the rook moves in any particular position. This mm -hmm. is the basic uh, move about the movement of the rook. Right? right. Okay. So we'll come to more pieces after the break.